Welcome back to another quick tip video. I'm Daniel Abendroth. This is We Prefer Podcasting, and today I'm going to show you how you can preview your edit before you actually make a cut. This is something that I have learned in researching another topic that I'm really excited about, so stay tuned for that. I'm working on like a six or seven uh, part video series, so I'm really excited about that. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, do all the things and such. Um, but today's video is going to be about uh, previewing an edit. So basically, you can highlight a section, preview it, and it'll play, the playback will just skip over your highlighted section. So that way you can highlight a section that you want to edit, listen to it before you actually make the cut. So that way you don't have to like fiddle around um, trying to make it perfect. You can just listen to it ahead of time. So let's go ahead and jump into Reaper and I will show you how to do that. Uh, so this is an episode that I've been working on. Um, so let's go ahead and listen to this section. That it is exactly the opposite of what you are wanting to do and create for yourself. So of what you are wanting to do and create for yourself, what I'm gonna- So right there is obviously a repeat. So let me go ahead and figure out where I wanna start it. Do and create for yourself. So of what you are wanting to say, of what you are wanting to do and so create so right here so let me highlight what i think it is and then i'm going to hit alt p for me and then on mac whatever it is the equivalent of that the opposite of of what you are wanting to do and create so did you see that it just skipped right over this section right here so i know so i need to take out this of and this little mouse click right here the opposite of what you are wanting to do and All right, so I know that's clean cut so I can edit it the opposite of what you are wanting to do and, create and just keep going the opposite so once again you just highlight whatever section you want to edit alt space the do and create for and it just skips over that section so let's go ahead and look at that in the action list just filter by play and then skip and it's this right here, transport, play, skip time selection. So for me, and I'm pretty sure by default on Windows, it's set to alt plus space. So you can just go over here, add whatever key you want it to be. Um, alt space makes the most sense for me. So that's what I'm sticking to. And you can preview your edits before you make them. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that quick tip. Leave a comment. Let me know if you already knew about this. And because this is something that came default with Reaper that I'm just learning about after so many years. Um, and also if you found this useful and if you're going to be implementing it or if you have implemented it, how it affects your workflow, leave a comment below. And also if you have any other quick tips that you want to share with the community, please leave a comment down below and I will see about making a video on it. All right, until the next one, see you later.